got it for ten dollars ten dollars how much is that in kenyan shilling i'm trying to do my math 750 shillings for this surely everyone and welcome back to my bits and pieces well it's your girl hadasa wanja aka wawa Weru, and welcome back to my channel and if you have not considered to subscribe please consider doing it uh because in here we do a lot of interesting and edifying things so you do not want to miss any of these fun things out in today's video i am going to show you how i make omena i yes i got omenas from the shops you will not believe it and yeah but the price i am telling you this small pack i got it for ten dollars ten dollars how much is that in kenyan shilling i'm trying to do my math 750 shillings for this surely sure but anyways let's get going and start preparing our omena because today we are going to enjoy this meal from from hadassah herself yes and guys welcome back to my bits and pieces and as you can see i'm just uh, getting the omena ready. And I'll be sorting them out to remove any dirt. Because you just never know what you can find from this omena. So I'll do that quickly. And once I'm done sorting them out, I'm going to pour in some hot water, like really boiling water. And this will help to ensure that um, the omena is nice and tender. Some people will prefer to boil to, to boil it in the pot, but I just prefer to pour some boiling water and on top of that i'll be adding in some vinegar this will help to get rid of that smell yeah because yes i know i know omena omena daga you can be terrifying in that sector Then after that, I'll be letting the omena sit for 10 minutes. And that after, I can rinse it out, ready for uh, shallow frying. And as omena sits, I'll be preparing my uh, tomatoes, uh, the onion, the garlic, and coriander. So in here, I'll, I'll be putting some hot water into the tomatoes because I want to get rid of um, the peel. Then also, I'll finally chop the onions.
We'll also do the same to the coriander. And yes, uh, grate my two cloves of garlic. And now back to the tomatoes, I'll be pouring out the hot water and I'll be putting in some cold water to help the peel uh, come out easily. And yeah, give them a fine chop as well. On here, I will uh, shallow fry the omenas once I've drained the water and rinsed them out. And also sprinkle in some salt. Now let them cook for uh, about 10 to 15 minutes as I keep stirring them up. And yes, here I have my nicely shallow fried daga omena. Yes. And I'll be putting the omena aside. I fry the onions, ensuring that they are well and nicely cooked. Till they are nice and brown. Then on the garlic, The coriander, the tomatoes, and a bit of salt. Remember we had put in some salt to the omena, so I do not want it to have like a lot of salt in it. Oh yes, and there's this thing about me. I love to cover my food when I'm cooking. I don't know, I think I feel like the food is cooking faster. So here I am, I've covered my tomatoes. Do you do the same? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you cover your food as much as I do?
you see my tomatoes are nicely done so i'm going to put in the omena and this time i'm not going to fry for a very long time because already the omena was cooked when i shallow fried so at this point it's just um infusing and marrying everything together in one pot And here comes my lid again. <laughs> and on here, I'll probably cover it for about five to ten minutes on medium low heat. Well, I got this spices from Zanzibar and now the omena is nice and ready you do want to taste this I tell you it, it smells so nice it looks yummy and yes I cannot wait to dig in Mm. So I'm going to serve my omena with some sukuma wiki, kale, and ugali. I've got some corn, and it tastes delicious. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below, how do you make your omena, your daga? Yes, I'll be keen to find out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and, and kindly share this video with your friends and loved ones and catch you on my next one.